Hey, what is up guys? John from Magic Tech Review and in today's video guys, I'm going to tell you guys how to basically fix your ZTE phone. Uh, you know, I have a lot of people still coming into, you know, my shop or whatever where I work and questions and whatnot and how to fix uh, ZTE phones if they're going black, if they're going, you know, if your screen is broken or whatnot. So in this video, basically, I'm just going to answer those questions, guys. So go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. Go ahead, subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech Review family and comment down below what you would like uh, to see me do next and whatnot. I'm just doing this one, guys, because... I don't know if I've done this in the past, but um, it just seems that a lot of people are still coming in with the issues and still kind of asking me and whatnot. So, yeah. So, either way, uh, you know, straight away, guys, if, you know, basically, if your screen is black on your ZTE phone and it's got a red dot on the top. So, this is mostly for older phones. Um, the ZTE Blade X Max and Z Max don't really do this, but I've seen it happen on my... Uh, Blade, uh, no, not the Blade, I'm sorry, ZTE Z Max, the original one, uh, the Z Pro, I did it a lot, uh, so basically, if your screen just freezes up, where it's a black screen, then you're just gonna have to hold the power button, literally hold the power button for like, 10 to 15 seconds, just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, you know, uh, people, like, they hold it for like, 3 seconds, and they're like, oh, it's broke, it's done, or whatever, but literally, your phone is still okay, it's just frozen uh, so a lot of people don't know that and they literally like are gonna throw their phone away and it's just like a you know it's like a ZT problem I guess they never really uh, fixed back in the day but now now like I said phones nowadays are not really that you know that you know with that issue but there might be a lot of people that don't have the latest blade Z max don't have the latest uh, don't have the latest update or whatnot so there you go there there's that uh, also guys if your if your phone is running kind of slow because I see that too as well like my blade X max it does it it does it I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and lie that I don't do it it does it like I don't know every so often maybe maybe once every two weeks maybe once a month it's not like very very often that it does it but all of a sudden it'll just start lagging like really really bad and it'll start hanging the apps will start hanging and everything and it's just like becomes really really unusable so a lot of people don't know the same way is just like you just restart your phone and it'll be good back to normal you know so I don't understand like some people like you know these things are computer these things are equipment you should be you know restarting your phone regardless you know at least once you know once every couple days you know what I'm saying at least once a week I've known people that they never restarted their phone since they had it like three months so of course your phone is gonna act kind of kind of weird and strange after a while but you know i mean it's not your fault obviously you know you're the consumer and you should have a good product and whatnot so there's that um you know if your screen is cracked guys there's not like there's not like a miracle there's not like a miracle cure guys to just go ahead and fix your phone i'm sorry guys uh you know some people think that it's just like it's a miracle cure to fix your phone no, it's not. It's not. It's, there's not like a miracle cure. You're just gonna have to like literally just buy into the phone. I mean, you can, you can go and get a, uh, you can go and do an insurance claim, but you know, I mean, if you got the phone for free and whatnot, you know, or you got it for really cheap because ZTE phones are tend to be pretty cheap, and you're gonna have to upgrade your operating system anyway. Just go ahead and get the next, you know, the next phone that they that they offer you guys, you know fixing a ZTE phone or fixing a phone that's like under $100 is not really worth the effort plus I mean just think about just think about this guys you're gonna have to spend on the screen and then you're gonna have to spend on the hours that the person has to fix the screen and whatnot and they're not the easiest to fix guys I've fixed phones like that before in the past and it's really really tedious and a pain pain in the butt uh, so I would not you know hand somebody 10 bucks to fix my phone and what I don't think they should accept that because it is like you know it's gonna be at least 30 to 45 minutes of work you know no matter how fast they do it you know there's screws there's little things in there that they can mess up and you know your phone's not really gonna be the same anyways after you fully fix it so I would just suggest just getting a whole brand new phone 
so yeah um power saving mode that's easy um literally you're just gonna have to power down your phone once more so yeah guys i know guys this is like a video of me just saying power down your phone and restart your phone but literally that's like half the problems uh with the phones nowadays is that um also i've seen a lot of people where they go into talkback mode i do have a talkback mode uh how to deactivate talkback back mode i do have a video i'm gonna leave a card uh up there in the top right it's gonna have like a little eye by it for information and then it's gonna be in the link in the description below or maybe in the comments i'll leave it how to uh you know disable talkback but yeah guys any other questions or concerns let me know obviously you gotta you want to update your phones obviously you want to clear out your cache eventually um you know these phones have 16 gigabytes 32 gigabytes but i mean eventually you know the phone does fill up eventually so you're gonna have to eventually get rid of some apps that you don't want uh eventually you're gonna have to get you know get rid of some stuff that you, you know you just don't don't need so don't be filling up your phone like it's like you know you're a maniac and you're just playing all types of games have up there for no reason you know what i'm saying all you need is angry birds come on we all know that all you need is angry birds in the hub so as long as you got them two apps you're good to go um but <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. This is John from Magic Tech Review. Slap that like on it if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.